hello friends um, see this uh, this technical video i'm just going to explain about how the network connectivity um, so because one of my um, viewers he was asked some clarification about how the network connectivity like ilo uh, ip it's um, configured as reservation okay uh, actually um, so his name was um, Srinivasan uh, first of all I should thank Srinivasan for watching my videos and raised and query okay uh, thanks uh, Srinivasan actually see um, first let me uh, clarify the ILO see uh, what is ILO ILO it's an static IP first the, that is that should be reserved so then only that I say my IP will not allocate to any other device so that um, reserved IP should be assigned in the ILO configurations while booting itself there will be an option to configure the ILO IP so while booting so we need to assign the particular static IP and, uh, and along with MAC address so then that ILO connectivity would be good so here your question is how the network connectivity okay see from the network connectivity there are two things first one is static another one is dynamic okay so static is something we can assign IPs manually dynamic is with the system itself getting IP from dynamically okay so like uh, DHCP servers which act as um, the pleasing IPs from the centralized servers this is uh, this is related to dynamics okay so here network connectivity there are some class types class A class B class C class D class A there are five types of classes 1 to 126 IPs first classes 127 loop back address which is something assigned locally and 128 to 154 then 154 to, to uh, 198 then 199 to 254 these are ip classes categories okay so here it will the ips will get along with defined with subnet mask and also gateway and dns okay so for static we need to assign IP manually if uh, the IP is um, which class based on that we need to assign the subnet mask like 255 255 255.0 255.255.00 likewise we need to assign manual IP for static what is dynamic dynamic is its DHCP so means that should be a DHCP server so that server will publish the IP that server DHCP server will design which uh, will decide which IP can allocate the particular machine or particular device so if that dynamic configured the IP should come in from the DHCP server the IP may get change okay so until unless it should not be reserved in the DHCP under reservation uh, because the IP should be reserved with the MAC address once it's reserved then a DHCP server will not assign this IP to any other machine or any other devices so um, so these are the two things the main thing is static and another one is dynamic so um, from the dynamic if it is a dynamic how we can configure the specific IP means the same like how we are configured ILO the same like we need to reserve the IP in the DHCP server along with the MAC address then the same IP we should put any other devices like printer or any other devices then only the IP will not change uh, still that should be in DHCP environment but the IP will not change uh, for DHCP, uh, for uh, DHCP, there are two commands like ipconfig uh, uh, release. It will release the old IPs, 
IP always uh, the IP con pick uh, then slash or renew it will get new IP there are Dora concept that uh, the process if you search in the internet you will get some details about uh, DHCP DHCP Dora means uh, DHCP uh, IP discover IP offer uh, IP um, uh, release IP acknowledge so these are the Dora concept we'll say so i hope you have understand the network connectivity so you should only keep mind the static and uh, dynamic so i i hope you i just cleared your clarification still you just uh, come at me and if any query and also please uh, subscribe the channel and support for continue uh, for to, to take more sessions thank you